Hey, I'm Dr. Joe Niamtu, lovethatface.com, and I usually talk about cosmetic facial surgery, but today we're talking about reloading bullets, okay? And I know that may be uh, a little strange, but uh, for all of you out there that use uh, reloading machines, and, and I have three, I have uh, a Dillon 650, a 550, and RCBS, you know that one of the uh, really significant things about reloading is make sure that you have a powder charge. If you miss a powder charge um, and put a bullet in with a primer, you can have a squib load, and uh, that can be very dangerous uh, if you fire another round behind that. It can blow the gun up or injure yourself. Um, now, there are powder alarms, and Dylan makes a powder alarm with a little rod that goes in to the shell that activates a beeper if it's high or low. And, th and that's great because that tells you if you have enough powder, too much powder, not enough powder. Um, however, it, it it's kind of a pain to use, especially in small neck rounds like uh, 223. And so I was looking around my workshop and I got a Christmas present several years ago. I'd never opened it and it's one of these uh, little scopes uh, with a with a tube that you can stick through drywall and uh, or use up under your engine or in your radiator and it has a little monitor and a nine inch uh, camera and it's very similar to the endoscopic scopes we use for brow lift surgery and um, so it's great it's battery operated um, and uh, you do have to charge the monitor and so I'm going to show you what I did I mounted this uh, on my Dillon 650 just sat it on there, bent the tube, put it in the little hole in the tool head where the um, powder checker device usually goes. And this gives me a visual uh, to confirm that there is powder in that load. Now it doesn't tell you if there's too much or not enough, but these powder measures are pretty dependable and you can see the powder in your round. So I'm gonna show you how you do this and it's very inexpensive. You can get these at your local hardware store and I think it's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully, maybe the companies will make a device like this that's a little bit more compact and is an integral part of the system. I'm Dr. Joe and I am to lovethatface.com. Hey, and if you ever need any cosmetic facial surgery, check us out. So the setup for this is, is very simple. You just really uh, can hang this device on the side of your reloading tray. And uh, I haven't secured this yet. It's just hanging there by gravity, but you could put a stick tie or I like to use these little... Uh, orange uh, wire wraps. Uh, they're easy to put up and take down. And basically, so you, you have the unit mounted and you have to, um, you, the monitor will charge. So it's actually totally wireless, but uh, I'm leaving it uh, hooked up right now to an electrical source. And uh, you can see it just runs down and I have it again, sticking through one of my uh, orif Orify. <laughs> orifices of uh, the um, tool head and uh, I will make a little bit more secure uh, mount that will just set inside there you don't want to don't need to thread it it just needs to set in there and you can you can uh, simply tilt this to aim it and uh, again it just will capture a close-up view and the more you uh, hang it down the closer it'll be to the subject so very simple setup so this is my first prototype and this is literally uh, the, the first trial here and I'll show you how this works. It's very simple. I have this simple uh, wireless uh, endoscopic inspection camera. They're very inexpensive. So this is a Dillon 650 and we're going to size the case. We're going to come over here. We're going to primer the case. We're going to powder the case and now you'll see as we come across, you can see and verify that you have uh, powder in your case. Now, it won't tell you if you have too much or not enough, but you know, with these machines, they usually uh, really always dispense an accurate powder load. And then we'll come over here and seat our bullet and then size our bullet and boom, there you have it. So it's a very simple situation and uh, I think it can be very useful to the reloader. Um, you know, the, the Dillon alarm that monitors uh, how much powder you have in a shell, that works pretty well with wide mouth cases and pistols, but 
For uh, some reloads, it's very difficult and awkward to use. And uh, so I think this is a visual system that will verify the, um, the powder load. And again, this is just a simple endoscope that can be purchased uh, at any Home Depot or Lowe's. And um, that's how it works. So I've just, right now, have a very crude setup where my camera, uh, endoscopic camera is pointing down the hole for the, uh, where the powder checker would normally go. And it also provides uh, some lighting for the area. So I also on this device have an inline fabrication light system, which uh, also helps uh, illuminate the, the situation. So there you have it. And uh, I think it's a neat little rig uh, that can help you with safety uh, to make sure that you're not missing uh, a load and loading a squib load when you're doing reloading. I'll work with this to find a more compact way to set it up. I'm Dr. Joe Niamtu, lovethatface.com.